At Google, we have lots of developer events. And today I'm talking with Megan Krilanovich, along with our special guest, who makes many of them happen. So Firebase always has great representation at events like Google I.O. We have our own summits and lots of other things. And Megan, you're the one that drives all of this. You're the brains behind it all. What's it like? It's pretty great. So I think I have one of the best jobs ever, which is that I help our engineers and our uh, pro uh, product managers get out to events and talk to developers throughout the year. So um, we go to about 100, 150 events every year that many? Um, wow. and send hundreds of Firebasers um, to these events every year as well. Wow. And one of the things that Firebase always seems to be synonymous with events is great swag. That is true. We do have some pretty great swag. Um, there's the Firebase hot sauce, which is one of my favorites. And now we've started doing annual editions. So you have, they, we're hoping that they kind of become collector's items. Oh, nice. Or at least I've started to collect them. Uh, <laughs> one of my other favorites was the Firebase uh, sweatband. So, you know, it's a lot of work being a developer when you start coding. You know, mm -hmm. you get hot, you get sweaty, you need your sweatband to, to keep cool. Well, so we've seen that great video of David East covering himself from That's head to right. toe in these sweatbands, right? So it's like, uh, so would you recommend developers do that? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, whatever you need to do to code hard. So I, I, I was speaking at an event in the UK earlier this year, and you remember we sent like a whole bunch of hot sauce there, and, mm -hmm. and it didn't quite go according to plan. Oh man, I think that the <laughs> truck that it was being shipped on actually uh, went off the side of the road. I think everyone was okay, yeah. but the hot sauce was not, so it never made it to that event. And, and so you ended up shipping a whole bunch of hot sauce to me. That's true. And I packed my suitcase full of hot sauce to go to the UK. <laughs> yep. And let's just say security gave me like a very interesting expression when they were scanning my bag. So, uh, but but I this is the true Firebase spirit. Anything for our developers, you know, we always want to go the extra mile. Yeah. Uh, and if that means uh, packing hundreds of bottles of hot sauce <laughs> in your suitcase, then that's what we yeah. got to do. Yep. And I, I have to say, I kept some of the hot sauce at home and my oh, wife good. makes amazing chicken wings with it. So Ooh, we, we have to try it sometime. And one delicious. of these days I'm going to do like a fire cast on how to make chicken wings with Firebase hot sauce. So. I, yes, <laughs> I would love to be a guest on that show. We'll, we'll, we'll bring them and put them in the middle of the table. And <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things also with Megan that I don't know if you can see on camera, but Megan like oh, yeah. brings uh, Didi here, Didi. Oh, uh, with her, and like Didi is almost like Google, like our, our Firebase mascot. Dog. She is the Firebase dog. You know, mm -hmm. Google is very dog friendly, mm -hmm. and um, I worked with Firebase before the Google acquisition. And when we came to Google, I kept telling everyone that they should get a dog. And then mm -hmm. I realized maybe I should just get the dog. Okay, and then Didi came along, and she did. It. You know, even like her ears, she has one up, one down. It reminds me of the Firebase logo. <laughs> <laughs> That's did, did true. Did she inspire it? Uh, you know, I would like to say yes, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> we'll just say she embodies Firebase. Okay, sounds good. So she's just a, just a darling little dog, so she definitely embodies Firebase. And now, you mentioned you came as part of the Firebase acquisition. So what was it like going from like startup to then being part of Google? It was a pretty great journey. You know, um, uh, I joined uh, one year before acquisitions. So I was there a year, and from then we grew from seven employees to over 20, and then we were acquired by Google. Right. So um, I always say that uh, tech years are kind of like dog years. So it's about a seven to one ratio. Okay. So yeah. time moves very quickly. So a lot has changed since you were. Uh, a lot has changed. You know. That's cool. right. We used to bake cookies in our own uh, in our own kitchen uh, back in the old days. And you know, things like that don't happen anymore, but we still have a lot of fun as a team. Now we can just go to a micro kitchen and take some cookies. Right? That's correct. <laughs> so, so back to events for a second. So like one of the things that all these events from small to large, like all the way up from like GDG meetups to Google mm -hmm. I.O. and that kind of stuff, it's like, it, it's a big logistic issue getting the right speakers to go to the right events so that we can support and love our community. And it's like, how is it that you manage all of this? It sounds so difficult. <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of time, and a lot of a lot of it is just about taking care of each and every one of our speakers and uh, awesome Googlers that go to these events so that they can keep going to as many events as possible throughout the year. Do, do you have a favorite? A favorite event? Yeah. Oh, man. You know, there's some that we've been going to forever, um, like some of the 
some college hackathons that we go to year right. after year. And so I really like some of these ones that are just fire-based tradition to go to. And, and it's great like to work with students. That kind it of thing, is. To see them getting started and mm -hmm. beginning their journey, right? It's really cool. And yeah. some of the things that they build in, you know, 24 to 48 hours is absolutely amazing. So beyond like the hackathons and college hackathons, obviously we have the big events like Google I.O. and that kind of stuff. Uh, any good ones coming up that you're working on? Well, we are going to have an event on October 31st in Amsterdam, in the oh, Netherlands. In Amsterdam. We're super excited about this. Uh, we'll be sending a huge portion of the Firebase team, lots of really great sessions and uh, instructor-led trainings um, and office hours. Uh, nice. So developers will get to um, have uh, just a whole day with the Firebase team and ask any questions that they've been storing up over the year. Yeah, we did a great one last year in Berlin and it was like there was so many people went and it was a fabulous event, right? Yes. So, hoping for the same again. Absolutely, it's going to be great. Cool. So if I'm a developer and I want to get started, what, what's the best place to get going? I recommend that you go to firebase.google.com and okay. get started on our code labs. We have great code labs code labs for iOS, Android, and web. Cool. Or, you know, come meet the Firebase team at one of these events. Sounds good. We would good. love to see you there. So can I go to the Amsterdam one? <laughs> yes, Lauren. <laughs> Please. If I'm going, you're going, Lauren. <laughs> Sounds good to me. There so thanks, go. everybody, for watching this episode of Coffee with a Googler. And thanks, Megan. And thanks, Didi, for being our guest. <laughs> And as you heard, there's so many events that are always going on. We have the, from Google Developer Groups all the way up to things like Google I.O. and this, uh, this event that's coming in Amsterdam on Halloween, October 31st. So check in on firebase.google.com and check out the links below to learn more about some of the events. And Megan, the person who's making them all happen. So thanks again, Megan. Thanks.